What's going on, Sumolings? Chris here from AppSumo, and we have another awesome product webinar walkthrough for you today. Today, I'm joined with Joel from AdLaunch. Uh, for those of you who don't know, AdLaunch is an intuitive user interface that puts tons of advanced video editing tools in a simple framework so you can quickly produce high-quality content. It's available on AppSumo right now, starting off with just $39, and Joel is going to dive into it in just one second. Two things I wanna mention. One, if you have any questions about ad launch as we're going through this, drop those in the Q&A box below the video and we'll get some answers for you towards the end. The second thing, if you have to jump out early for any reason or you miss anything, we will be sending out a replay later today. But that is all I have. Joel, thank you so much for joining us this morning. I'm gonna turn off my camera and I will turn it over to you and you can get started. Thanks, Chris. Okay, I'm Joel. I'm the CEO and founder of AdLaunch. And today we're going to go through our campaign and our service. So how to actually use AdLaunch to efficiently create video ads for your company. So um, besides me, I'll be hosting the actual webinar. And then we have our CMO, Sonia, who is also online. So if you want to chat, you can send us messages and we'll go through the messages and our frequently asked questions that have risen during the, the six days of running the AppSumo campaign. And we'll aim to answer, answer all of those. And of course, you can contact our support afterwards. We're working 24 seven now in four shifts to, to support you guys to use AdLaunch and, and improve our service. So let's go through the actual service. AdLaunch is aimed at creating the best uh, short form content for a growing number of social media channels. So um, instead of building all the bells and whistles of a nonlinear editor to edit videos, we aim to create the fastest way to create short video ads and marketing video content for Facebook, Instagram, and, and so on. So we really do aim at that, that fast iteration of creating videos, which is based on intuitive editing tools, our patent pending um, video generator, and also uh, 100,000 pre-licensed HD video clips and 1.4 million pre-licensed photos. So a lot of content is bundled into the lifetime deal besides the actual service. So let's have a look at what we're going to go through. First, we'd like to welcome all of you new users. We've had a really good six days of running the campaign. So hundreds of, of credits already sold, and we're looking to forward, uh, forward to, to gaining even more happy customers by, by sorting some, some things with the service and, and get, getting more feedback from you guys. The content of the webinar will be the following. We'll start off by creating a video from scratch with AdLaunch. We'll also have a look at the ready-made video templates. We also call them designs. And then we're gonna show you the video generator. Uh, as I mentioned, we, we have a patent for that in the US and, and Europe, and it's beta. Uh, at the current state, but we've got a good roadmap of what kind of features we're going to implement into the video generator. And this is also something that we'd really like to get your feedback on. Then we're going to have a look at our live preview and, and using the music, using it to also edit the videos on beat, which we really think that is the way that videos should be edited. And a lot of our competitors are still missing from similar soft services. Then we're going to have a look at our keyboard shortcuts to get you blazing fast into creating and editing those videos and have a look at the ad launch roadmap and what we're going to implement next. We're also going to have a look at the frequently asked questions and, and tell you how to find out more about ad launch and how to contact us when you need help with creating your first videos. So creating a video from scratch, uh, here's, here's a sort of a few bullet points on how the best practices should be taken into account. But the best way you'll learn to do it is just by me going through the first steps and you following uh, on video, and then you can then create the video uh, with AdLaunch yourself. But just to go through before I start creating the video from scratch is that you can search for uh, relevant footage that is related to what you want to create. Say you're creating a summer sales campaign for, for next summer, you can search for summer related footage, maybe some people that you want to have present. Maybe you want to mix some of your own footage or photos of the actual products that you're sh showcasing. Then you can mix and match these things and edit them on the timeline. 
Then you can also add to favorites, of course, many, you know, be it whatever SaaS services enable you to, to sort of tag your favorite video clips. Then you can build a library or, or a folder of your own that then uh, is faster to get back when you're creating your next video. Uh, then we'll look at uploading your own content. Uh, what restriction that has currently and how, how to pay, best sort of take those into account. Uploading your own material like your logos or photos, your videos, adding your logos to the timeline, going through the text titles, styles, animations, and creating multiple layers, and then adding music. And then, of course, finally, how are you going to export or render the video, so to speak, so that you get that ready-made, finalized video file that then you can publish uh, on your social media channels or download onto your desktop, wherever you want to use that video. So let's jump into that. And, and then whatever questions you may have, use the chat to, to contact Sonia and us about creating that video so you can actually then... Um, get some feedback and we can answer those questions in the end. Okay, I'll share my own desktop. There might be a bit of feedback from the video, so bear with me here. We'll actually close the video preview from the camera. And okay. And just to check, Sonia, are, are you now seeing the, um, the screencast from Ad Launch? Yes. Okay, good. We're good to go. And now, I started off with the actual home screen of Ad Launch. So here we're taking into account that you've bought your first credits, signed up to Ad Launch, and you've actually gotten this far. So uh, before this, there's a typical uh, sign up or registration actually to get into the service, but that's pretty standard these days. Then you can either start creating your videos based on ready-made templates, or you can create the video uh, starting from scratch. So let's say that you want to first try out the generator, which uh, sets us apart from uh, other similar services. You can go to creating your first video. I'm going to create summer sales campaign video number one. Okay, we're going to choose landscape, which is the most sort of traditional aspect ratio. We also support square videos, which is best supported by Instagram. Uh, then portrait, which is your, your 9 to 16 aspect ratio, best supported on, on Instagram stories and Snapchat to really maximize that screen real estate on your user's phone. Now we're going to go with the landscape video. I'm going to click create with generator. Then uh, what the tab that opens up is our generate tab. So that's pretty self-evident. There's a, there's a symbol that we're still in beta, so be patient with us. You're the ones who are going to support uh, really tweaking the generate to be the, the best, the fastest method to creating videos, but already you can get the fastest results you can get anywhere. So I'm going to uh, type summer, choose that, say maybe people, that's always nice to have on video. We're going to go stay with that horizontal format. Uh, short video is, is good. The average of Facebook videos uh, last year was around 10, 11 seconds. So we always state that don't make your videos too long for your marketing use. People will just um, look at the, the total duration and skip your videos if you're making them really long. Another different uh, format, of course, is that if you're creating webinar content, that can be uh, longer, but then you could still make ads for promoting your uh, webinars on ad launch and try and keep those nice and uh, short and sweet. Then the mood of the video affects how many cuts there are and, and what kind of music is added to the video. Say we want to put casual for now. We can write a call to action, uh, something that actually you want your customers or your viewers to act upon when they've seen that video. We could write uh, summer sale minus 50%. Then we're not going to add a logo quite yet. You can do it here, but just for demonstration purposes, I'll show you how to add the, the logo later on onto the canvas. So we'll start off by gener generating the video from this. Then we can click generate video and check out how fast it will create the video. Only takes about a few seconds and now we've got the first version of that video. 
then uh, when you play it back for the first time, that's when there's a bit of buffering because we've now pulled three clips uh, from a library of over 100,000 video clips and photos, so be patient there. If there's some issues there, you can also refresh the page, go back to the actual video, and then you'll have it ready made. And then the video will play back in real time without any pre-rendering of the, of the preview. Now we can see that maybe we want to do some adjustments. We can change uh, where that title is actually um, situated. We want to have it there in the middle. By no means what the generator created, it doesn't have to be your final video. What we're trying to achieve here is just to give you inspiration rather than give you just uh, templates to choose from which will end up you creating videos that look very much like your competitors videos you want to create something original and this is something that our um, patent pending generator uh, can achieve really well you're creating videos based on your own keywords that won't look like any pre-made designs or templates you're creating original content every time and then you can still add as many pieces of video or additional content uh, as your uh, heart desires, but this is just to give you that, that instantaneous uh, starting point for what you want to create. So let's check out the video a second time. We can play it back by either uh, clicking the play button or you can use a keyboard shortcut spacebar, which is pretty uh, standard for video editors to, to play back through a video. So let's have a, another look at the video. Okay, it looks nice, but um, say I want to have more people present. So there was a few uh, really nice kind of action wide shots, but um, say if I want to have more people, I can now click the tab for the actual videos. I can go to the stock footage and I can just start going through additional footage. So say I want to have this guy, um, I'm making a summer sales video here, so uh, I want to promote my e-commerce products, say maybe clothing. I can add these by, by clicking the stock footage. It will also open up the, the context menu and the, the video clip is added to the timeline at, at the last uh, duration. So it will be added as the last clip on your timeline. I can go back here. It also supports drag and drop. So you can drag any clips you wanna uh, have on your timeline. You can uh, go to the, the blue handle at the end of the video clips and you can uh, trim the duration of the video to your uh, desired length. And this is really the way that uh, instantaneous uh, real-time preview should work, that you're manipulating your video clips really fast to get your desired result. You don't have to render every time uh, in between to, to actually view your results. Now you can just play it back. Okay, and um, maybe we think that this, this lady is not quite what we're looking for, so we can drag the clip off the timeline, and this X will turn into a red X uh, to highlight that you can delete the clip. You can also delete clips by just activating the, the current selected video clip, and the context menu also has a delete here. It also shows that you can use the backspace to delete the clip. So there's three different methods to actually delete your video clips. But I'm quite happy with this guy sitting on the beach. It gives it a, a nice feel, but we'll go um, through another selection of, of clips that we could use. Say, this is more something along the lines I wanna have. We'll add uh, the lady with the coffee cup. Also, I saw something else that could be nice for the video. We'll add this lady and dog on the beach. So now we can sort of tie in this uh, imagery visually to make it more consistent. So uh, that's the video now. And then we can again play it back. Okay, and now again, we see that actually we can shorten these quite a bit. They're nice images, 
but we want to have um, a slightly faster feel for the video. Now we're at 10 seconds, which is nice. Then you can also drag your title. So say if we want to have the, the title that was generated in the, uh, the video generator, then you can drag that to the end. Maybe we don't have, want to have it at the, the last uh, clip, but we want to have it second last. So we'll have the call to action there. Then if we want to have the same text title style, we could either go to the text titles and we, we offer a lot of pre-made animation presets. You could start by picking one of these. But actually, if I like this one, I could also just duplicate this. So then a second instance of that is added. I can then um, drag the first instance to the, um, be the intro text. I can double click the actual summer sale title and just change the text. So say, um, pick out our sale and we'll create a third instance of that text. just writing here something from the top of my head so you get an idea of what the text titles could be. And there we go. Okay, say if you're happy with this, then we'll show you how to add the actual logo. So uh, now then you could go to images or photos, my images, and now, for demonstration purposes, we've already added one of our ad launch logos as a PNG image files, but I'll still show you uh, the steps to actually upload your own image files. So when you're in My Images, then click the green button for Upload Images, and we use File Stack for, for uploading files, and we support all of the biggest uh, cloud storage providers. So you can either connect your Google Drive, connect your uh, Dropbox, uh, Microsoft OneDrive, Box, or Google Photos. So this already is really handy. Rather than uh, shooting footage on your phone, then uh, connecting your phone to your uh, MacBook or, or laptop, then uploading it there, which is pretty cumbersome. You can still do that by uh, just going to your computer. It's easy to also connect your existing cloud storage without um, perhaps any storage limits, and then you can just drag and drop those files from uh, your cloud storage. For um, demonstration purposes, I'll upload it from my own computer. Uh, we'll have a look at an ad launch logo in white. We picked it there. It shows the, the file size. We click Upload. And then it uploads the file. And then it's treated like any other uh, piece of footage photos or, or material in your gallery here. Now I'm going to drag and drop the logo onto uh, the, the canvas. So we call the actual, uh, the, the preview actually a canvas because technically it's, that's how it's been uh, coded. Then now the logo is added by default in the uh, upper left hand corner. Now, actually, uh, I was a bit hasty there, so it looks like I added two instances of the logo, so I'll delete the second one. And now we can add the logo wherever we want to move it. We can use typical, very intuitive transform tools to actually scale the logo. And you can also use uh, presets for the positioning. So say that if you want to have everything right dead center at your video, rather than trying to find uh, where that center is, you can just click uh, the, the center and then go to the end. Now, if you recognize there was an uh, issue here where the actual logo was um, displayed simultaneously with the, the summer sale title, we want to have the logo on a kind of call to action uh, slide here at the end. So what we can do here is uh, toggle the visual trimmer. So toggle that to be on. And then uh, your, you can see a preview of the duration of that logo when it's portrayed on the video. So then you can trim it. I'm going to trim it to be consistent with the last video clip here. And then I can put the display visual trimmer off. 
And now the logo will be displayed uh, at the end. If there's some overlap, we can also trim uh, the summer sale title to end a bit earlier, or alternatively, you could uh, toggle that to be on again or active as the selection, toggle the display visual trimmer, and just manipulate it or trim it to just appear slightly later, display uh, visual trimmer off, and then you'll have your logo appear, appear slightly later. So that works really well. And now we could also add uh, a call to action of the, the, say the site URL where you really wanna try, uh, drive your traffic to. We can duplicate another instance of, of your title, but this time we're gonna actually move the title lower. We're gonna put uh, our own site there. Doesn't have to be that enormous in, in terms of font size. We're gonna um, put it smaller. Maybe 70 is a bit small if you have users uh, viewing your content on mobile. So we'll go for 96. Text shadow looks a bit overdue, so we can blur it a bit. So it actually stands out from, from the white highlights of that background footage but it's not as visible. So, and we also support presets for the actual drop set shadows. So rather than using uh, separate uh, controls, which give you a lot of kind of advanced control, but if you're not familiar with those, you can also just toggle the presets for uh, the, the back or the drop shadow and immediately you can see a visual response on how that's going to affect the actual drop shadow. Okay. Maybe we still aren't happy with the ending image, so we can go and search for something else. Let's have a look at summer. Say if we don't want to have that lady there on the background, rather have something that's a bit more, uh, less busy in terms of the, the last video clip. This would be nice. We can have the call to action on top of that. Now it's also the um, URL is on top of the ad launch watermark. We've had a few users ask if, if this watermark is, is present on the final video output. Of course not. So what you're paying for is, is the clean output of the videos, nothing extra, no watermarks, nothing uh, uh, to, to sort of relate you to the the service, when you create the videos, you own the videos for, for 10 years, you can use them in, in digital, uh, even broadcast TV, uh, use just not paid broadcast uh, TV advertising due to our music licenses, but from our users' research, that's not the, the most common use case anyway. So the watermark is only on the preview, just for safety reasons, so uh, for example, Shutterstock asked for this so that users uh, can do screen recordings directly off the canvas. Okay, getting back to the actual uh, end card or, or the call to action, this looks really nice. Uh, we can leave this uh, lady out of the, um, the, the final video. Then going back to where the actual logo appears, where we can put the URL to appear simultaneously with the logo. Preview just this part. Maybe we want to have the logo a bit larger now, actually. We don't have a, uh, a face in the image. So um, we can just activate the logo. Now I scaled it up. We can put it in the center. OK. Now we can make the, the final call to action slightly shorter. I'd say four seconds to five seconds is a good pre best practice for most social media advertising. Here we can see that the last clip begins at roughly eight and a half seconds, ends at 14, so that's six seconds right. I'd say that your viewers are able to see the, the final uh, call to action and the URL in shorter time as well. So now we've created the video. We can preview it one last time.
maybe I want to have the second text title to be slightly longer. You can do this. You can have the text title running over two, uh, two or even three images, which all services like this can't do. So it's very dynamic in terms of what kind of results you want to do and just test what looks good uh, in terms of the video you've created. When you're happy with that video, you can click preview. And we had one review related to the AppSumo campaign where uh, a person can find the actual, um, the actual render button for the final video output. So we're thinking of now changing the, the button text to export. Give us a shout on the chat if you think that export would better describe this. Uh, especially because you can preview the videos in real time. So uh, maybe export would better describe what you're doing next. So when you're happy with the, your result, just click that. And then we'll start rendering the video uh, and the audio, the actual music into one video file. Now I'll have a look at the actual um, discussion on the chat so i'll just stop sharing for a minute sonia have we got any any questions that you'd like me to answer mm. Mm. well i've answered pretty much all of the questions there about the, um if they can upload their own content good maybe you can share words like yeah i can show an example of uploading your own videos that could be good any other questions? I'm just looking um, through the chat. OK, so also very practical question. How long is the webinar? So uh, we were told that it should be up to 40 minutes. So now we've uh, used 80 to 28 minutes uh, until now. Uh, give us a shout on the chat if there's anything else that uh, you want an answer to. Now we've showed uh, creating a simple video. Uh, we can still go through uploading your own footage and let us know if you have any other questions and then we can uh, answer those at the end. Okay, going back to the screen share then. Now our final video is rendered. We can preview it here. And this is a final full HD version of the video. So an even higher resolution video than, than the preview is, uh, just to, to keep the, the preview nice and fast and fluid in terms of uh, the playback. But now I could either download the video as a video file or uh, open the video in the editor. Here, because I'm the administrator at AdLaunch, I could also publish this as a design. Uh, as a normal user, uh, you won't be seeing that button, so there's two. We're also planning to, to add social media publication button, so that's on our roadmap. So please give us a shout also about the features that you'd like to see. And we published our roadmap on Trello. You can upvote uh, all the, the features that you'd like to see. We've got a lot of ideas on what we can implement and add. And, and we're a team of seven people currently working on, on pro, both the product development and the user support. So we'd love to get your feedback on, on what you require the most uh, in terms of features. So the more upvotes we get, get to a given feature, the faster we will actually implement that into the service. So give us a shout about what you would like to see on ad launch to, to really give you maximum value for creating your videos. Now I'll go um, back to the editor and show um, how to upload your own videos. So that was, uh, like Sonia said, was something that you guys asked. So I'm going, going back to the videos tab here. Uh, I'll go to my videos and upload videos. And again, we're taken to the back, uh, the, the same file integration. Now I'm going to use uh, a video clip from my own libraries. You're going you're to have to look at my own finder view in, in weird languages for, for a minute here as I get my video. Now we could add our own video. So say that we want to use our own ad launch brand film content, which is humoristically called Fish Lap. If you're intrigued about what that means, you can go on YouTube and find that out. It's about a marketer who didn't take advice from his son about creating enough video marketing and gets slapped by a fish. I won't tell you any more about that. 
69 megabytes, uh, as mentioned on the slides in the intro, 250 megabytes is, is the current upload cap. Uh, it's not something that we want to limit you guys on, but the way that the videos are technically uh, created on AdLaunch, we're running something called scalable Lambda instances on Amazon AWS, and 250 megabytes is a convenient maximum size for uh, running those videos and rendering them efficiently. That's also something that some users asked about the maximum video duration. And now it's set to uh, four minutes currently. We were thinking of giving uh, higher duration maximums for the, the higher uh, amount of credits. But at the current uh, state of where AdLaunch is, it's easier for us to give a really fluid uh, playback uh, for you guys and focus on, on the short video content rather than giving you the maximum duration of video. So if you want to create videos that are you know, 10, 20 minutes long, maybe at the current stage, you're better off using some other uh, video editor like iMovie, for example, to create those videos. We'll keep you posted if that's something that we can implement from a technical perspective. But now we're really focused on that short form content. Okay, now I've uh, uploaded this uh, brand film. Now it's treated like any other asset uh, in the gallery, like I mentioned. We can even preview the brand film in this nice thumbnail preview. If we're happy with uh, the, the clip, it's the right clip that we wanted to use. Actually, for demonstration purposes, I could actually go to my library, create a new video for this. So say that I want to create a, a fish lap um, cut down. Cut down is what, what in the interest, industry in terms of video marketing is called a shorter version of your primary version. So I'd say that this could be a 10 second cut down of this fish lap video ad. So I'll go to uh, create a new video, name that, always be consistent with your project naming and your file naming. You will thank your future uh, self uh, when you've done that right. Then we have to choose blank video to create uh, a start from scratch. We can add this video onto the timeline. And then how this is treated is that usually adds the first uh, 40 seconds. Now, if we're only going to do a 10 second version of this, then we could click uh, to update the 10 seconds. But actually what I want to do is take a few different uh, pieces of this video and cut it down. So maybe I want to start with the boy. Great actor, by the way. Uh, young talent here who appeared on the brand film. I'll edit this and then we can toggle the visual trimmer off. Now we can preview this. Ad launch also, the, the current version supports sound, so you can use uh, sound with audio. But what you have to do, if you want to use your original video clip audio, you have to toggle the enable clip audio to be on to actually utilize this audio within the video clip. Otherwise, uh, you will uh, have the option to add music if you want to just use, say, create a montage of multiple videos you shot in an event, for example, with your iPhone, and you didn't want to have the audio on, then you don't have to enable the video clip audio. Here we think that we want to do that. Okay, Dad, so now we can preview Dad, the video. Dad, you should create a video ad to promote your business. Mm -hmm. Dad, really, it improves your visibility, conversion, and communicates your brand to your clients. Okay, there uh, I want to maybe just use the beginning. Now I'm going to duplicate this instance. I could also do that with a D. And then I'm going to actually trim the second part to, to begin at a much later stage of the video. So usually cut downs are made not just by editing you know, the first 10 seconds of the video. You want to recreate uh, a different version altogether. So here I'm going to um, edit that. Also, maybe you noticed in the preview that the way it's previewed, the audio and video isn't uh, completely in sync. It's a technical issue with, with actually previewing the videos on Canvas. 
Uh, you'll always have your footage and audio in sync when you actually export the video. So don't be worried about that. That's just to keep uh, the, the video preview uh, real time, uh, but also have your audio present. But don't think too much about the actual synchronization of, of that. We are also looking into that to, to make it even more fluid. So uh, in the future, that will no doubt be even better. So say I want to have the actual, I want to use the end cards all, all together. So starting from there, I want to actually have. Don't get slumped with the fish. Create more videos for your business. Okay, and there the actual video ends. I can trim the end. You notice how quickly if I just uh, toggle the play to pause at where the video ends. Professional video editors usually look at the footage right where you want to see your uh, end marker. You can just quickly uh, press spacebar and then you can um, toggle your video to, to playhead be at the position where you want to trim the video and then you can get very accurate results. This is one version. Maybe I want to uh, leave the, the actual uh, live action footage where the boy is all together out. I could even stuck. run this uh, just as a, an, a, as a text animation. I could then toggle the clip audio to be off, replace that with, with another song. I could add a song from previewing the tracks and then just select a track. And then I could just use this as a separate video. So that's also really handy. If you've already um, created some, some previous video productions or, or you had a freelancer shoot some footage for you, there's multiple options uh, to use pre-existing footage. So even though we offer that 1.4 million plus assets of photos and video, don't think about ad launches, just a kind of uh, a pre-made footage library either. It's there to make your work faster, to give you inspiration, but if you want to create original content, by, by all means, do do that. It also hel helps you uh, uh, create a unique brand and, and uh, video marketing strategy for yourself. Okay, going back to now the chat, is there anything else that our, our viewers mm -hmm. asked, Sonia? Maybe something about the music. Maybe you can give some examples of the music. Okay, yeah, good question. So um, to date, we've added 200 uh, music songs. Uh, now they're licensed by uh, a broadcast music licensing company called Epidemic Music. Uh, we plan to add a lot more music in the future. And we are also now improving on adding genre tags so that also that music, um, besides being able for you to actually browse through, you could actually search that uh, easier. So those are definitely things that um, we are going to improve in the near future. And it's not a massive technical hurdle. So um, we're, we're going to work on that soon. Now going back to that feature roadmap, something that I want to end with to emphasize your role as users and early adopters of AdLaunch. Now we already have almost 10,000 users with AdLaunch, but still, as I mentioned multiple times, we're really looking forward to getting your feedback. What I'm going to do here is open up our, our public roadmap and then share that here. So here you can see now our public roadmap. We've also got a private one with a lot of nice secret source stuff related to our patent pending stuff. But this is definitely something that users ask us a lot about. Now we only published this uh, six days ago with the AppSumo launch. So you can see that there's not that many upvotes yet. So please uh, give us a lot of feedback on this. Like I mentioned a couple of times now, I can't emphasize enough 
how much uh, modern SaaS services are, are built around uh, a user community and, a, and user feedback. So, so you guys can make all the difference in the kind of tools and the kind of service that you need in your work and your video creation. And we are literally here for you guys. So, so the best thing you can do is, is keep us busy uh, you know, send us multiple messages about everything that you would like to uh, on see on ad launch, how you would like to create your videos even faster. And we promise to, to give you a sh uh, shout back uh, with an estimate on when we could implement that. And uh, we will get back to you uh, with the uh, roadmap updates uh, in the, the weeks to come. So give us a lot of feedback uh, so, so we can develop ad launch in the right direction to create the most value for your guys. Okay, um, that sums up for me. Any questions, Sonia, that you want to share um, before we wrap up? No, well, one about voiceover. Okay, we've been asked that uh, about a bit. At the moment, you could do voiceovers by adding your own video and just recording your voiceover on the video clip audio and then using that. Uh, we are planning to have a dedicated second audio track. So for simplicity's sake, the way we started up ad launch was that we didn't have want to have you know multiple tracks that you end up stacking and stacking and then you end up needing a second screen for your preview and then it's just more complex than even professional video editors are we wanted to start with a very minimal very intuitive uh, approach but we've heard a lot of requests for uh, voiceovers we've actually built some features around kind of automatic uh, audio mixing for voiceovers so uh, if you want to see that in the near future uh, go and give a, a thumbs up for for that card on our roadmap and we'll definitely keep you posted on when we can add that and have it published. Any other questions, Sonia? Mm. Maybe the keyboard commands is something that I could spend the last 20 seconds on before we wrap up. So here, um, like I mentioned, we support a lot of keyboard commands and I kind of like went through them uh, when they came up. Uh, here's a list of the, the um, keyboard commands that are supported at the moment. We've tried to keep them kind of harmonized with standard video editing programs. So if you've used iMovie, Apple's Final Cut, or Adobe Premiere, or maybe plan to use uh, some of those uh, in the future with your team, we try to keep very similar uh, keyboard commands to, to just keep it intuitive for you to use. Also, just going back to the actual ad launch user interface, uh, you can find the whole list of keyboard commands by opening your menu on the left and then going to shortcuts. So you can always bring up the cheat sheet and look at um, your keyboard commands from there as well. I'd like to thank all of you guys. Uh, I hope this was helpful for you to understand uh, how to use ad launch. Uh, please support our campaign. Uh, and then, like I said multiple times, give us all the feedback you want, good and bad. We're here for you guys. So we want to hear from you. And we'll see you in the future. Bye bye. Awesome. Thank you so much, Joel. We'll talk soon. Bye bye. Thanks. Bye.